Hello everybody, DK Gillespie here and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Daigon Rama 2 Fat Company Chiaki Nanami, my very first ever Daigon Rama figure statue, unless you count the uh, the Funko Pop that uh, just came out, but uh, personally, I think this does count as my very first ever Daigon Rama figure and I am, you have no idea, capital S stoked for this, like you have no fucking clue this thing was so expensive and i have been saving up for it for literal months i have been saving money for this statue for literal months it has been so long i am beyond stoked to finally own this thing and finally have a statue of my favorite franchise of all time i cannot fucking wait for this um i do have the uh the new upcoming uh junko papa parade figure also pre-ordered i've had it pre ordered for months, but it's still going to be, I think, another week or so before that one is released, so very excited for that one as well, but this one, this one I have wanted for pretty much ever since I played Danganronpa 2 the first time, which was January of 2020. I literally, I cannot fucking wait for this. I cannot fucking wait for this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my unboxing and review of the Danganronpa 2 Fat Company. Yes, this this company that makes this figure is called Fat Company, spelled P-H-A-T. Um, we'll talk about that, but, uh, let's, I, I don't want to wait any longer. I am so unbelievably stoked for this, man. Like, to be honest, I genuinely don't know if I've ever been more excited to open a figure, man. This is the most exciting thing ever, so here we go! I got my knife here. Going to be very, very careful when unboxing this because, oh my lord, this thing is so, so expensive. I forgot one piece of tape back here. I don't even know if you can actually see me cutting the tape on camera. I don't, I don't actually know if I framed that in the right way, but hopefully I did. Let me bring it up so you guys can at least definitely see the box open up. So here we go, and it does say uh, Nanami Chiaki Super Danganronpa 2 at the top here, if you see right there. And we can open up the box. If we bring it down, you have a little picture of Monami right there, it's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even, oh, I gotta look at the box actually, don't I? I'm sorry. Uh, here's a picture of Chiaki, my Danganronpa waifu. We have 10th anniversary down there. I believe this is the re-release. They re-released it for the 10th anniversary, so I believe that is what's going on there. One eighth, one eighth scale, uh, painted figure sculpted by Kaoru Sakaki Tand. I am so sorry for butchering your name so horribly, man, but you did an absolutely phenomenal job on this. Uh, and colored by, just so I don't butcher anymore, I'm gonna do that. And then and spike chunks off and all that so you know for a hundred percent fact that this is an official version of this product this is not a bootleg on the side here you can see it says nanami chiaki right there the same picture of the statue and on the back here is going to be a reveal of what the statue looks like here it is this very amazing scene that uh, we will definitely talk about throughout the video you can see it is the fat company logo right there and you have all of this legal no jargon right there and then on this side you have nanami chiaki super dog and too and you have a little cutout of Monami right there, and then on the bottom we have absolutely nothing. So, so with that, let's jump back in to this unboxing. So we're gonna open it. Here we go! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Oh, I'm so fucking stoked! I'm gonna be so, so careful though. So, so careful. Very slowly gonna take it out. Here we go. Okay, we'll bring this back down. Here is the statue in its plastic protective shell right there. You can see all of the pieces right here. Um, if you look here in the uh, box here, you do have a nice Hope's Peak Academy logo back there, which is pretty darn awesome. Uh, but with that, I do believe I want to bring you guys in a little bit more. You can take a quick look at the way that she looks right here in the package. You can see everything packaged very, very neatly here. Oh my god, okay. <laughs>
And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Fat Company Chiaki Nanami in all of its glory. The ultimate gamer herself. And oh my lord, look at this thing. Look at you can you can clearly see the kind of scene we're going for here. Chiaki falling into despair. I really like the the symbolism they've got going on here. You can see the whole game setup going on right here. So we have Chiaki herself, of course, and then we have Monami up here. Well, actually, Monami is being blocked by the TV right now. There we go. We have Monami up there. They both have their controller. The controllers connect into the console, which is right down here. And then, of course, those all connect into the TV right here. And if you look at the TV, they are playing Danganronpa 2, which is a very nice touch. I really love that. Now, the detail on this is is absolutely superb. You can see all the attention to detail they've done here. Getting a uh, closer look on this. Taking a look at Chiaki herself here. It is absolutely beautifully done. They really nailed it. You can see they got everything down to a T. The head sculpt, very, very pretty. You can see it is dead on to Chiaki. I really love it. They kind of give her that same blank expression that she constantly has throughout the game. I'm going to try and take the stand piece out. Pretty easy. They did make this fairly easy to disassemble afterwards. And uh, yeah, so here you go. Here is Chiaki. Be as careful as possible. So I just wanted, but I have to show you guys how well they did because like, like I said, they gave her the blank expression on the face, which is very nice. Her bright pink eyes right there. You can see the, uh, the Gattaca hairpin right there. Of course, absolutely essential. They did it so well too. You can see the blue, the red picked out. Out. Very nice. The hair, beautifully done. The little logo on her jacket right there. You got her super long sleeves right here that go all around, all the way to her knuckles right there. Very nice. The dress, the little ribbon in, on her neck right there. You can see uh, they did give her her backpack right there and her hoodie. You can see the hoodie down right there with the little with the little chibi eyes right there. Absolutely gorgeous. They nailed it. They absolutely killed it. All the attention to detail on the pack itself, so beautiful. The quality feels absolutely phenomenal on this piece as well. It really does not feel anything uh, horrible at all. And if you wanted to, I mean, you could honestly just have like a laying down Chiaki figure if you wanted to. Like that does not look bad at all. I don't know why you'd want to waste all of the really cool stuff you get with this display. But if you wanted to, you could just have a uh, this uh, laying down Chiaki. But I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park with this Chiaki piece. And same goes with Monami. You can hear, you can see all the attention to detail on Monami. You can see you have the bright red eye right there, the black eye. You got the little bow right there, the little belly button. Very, very nicely done here. A little bit of pain bleed right there. Oh no, I actually think that's intentional. Uh, well, actually, I can't tell. I mean, I don't really care either way. It looks fine to me. Definitely looks like Monami. I definitely think they did a great job in that. And I think those are the two most essential pieces of the. And you can see the TV here to get a closer look on the TV. You can see they are playing Danganronpa 2, which is absolutely beautiful. You can see you have Hajime and Nagito on the front there. It is the uh, startup screen for uh, Super Danganronpa 2, which I absolutely love. You have the little VCR thing right there. The speakers, very nicely done. You can see you have all the cables right there. Oh, man, me and these cables, we're not friends. Those cables were such a pain in the ass as a kid, dude. You have no idea. Well, actually, you probably do. I mean, it's pretty infamous, I think. And then you have those little bits up there. Honestly, this is such a well-done little piece i mean seriously this tv looks so looks like it was pulled right out of like the like the, the early 2000s man it is really 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 beautifully done so those i think are the main core pieces right here you do also of course have the gaming console with the two controllers right there which plug in the cords themselves are a nice uh, bendable uh rubber so you can do whatever you want with them also of course you totally have your options for how you want to display this piece you don't have to put everything on there and i'm actually thinking about maybe taking um, maybe actually taking the TV out of the equation because I I'll talk about that a little bit later. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you totally have control on what you want to do with this piece, how you want to display it, what pieces you want to use, what pieces you don't want to use. Hey, if you don't want to use the base at all, which we'll talk about uh, right now, you can see it is just a really nice Monokuma base and these pieces, of course, we'll take these out for now. They do just pop right out and you can see it is beautifully, beautifully done. You have the lightning bolt eye right there. It looks like it could have been a little bit uh, better paint 
change it. I actually think this could have been a little bit better. It's not terrible or anything, although I did actually get a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of spit on it, but that's okay. Easy, easy fix. You can see all of this stuff is just wiping right off. None of this is actually uh, bad stuff, but like the eye, I do think the eye could have been a little bit better done. I mean, for the price of this dang statue, I think it could have been a little bit done. Just a minor little nitpick, very minor little nitpick. I really think they did do a great job with the base itself right here. And for comparison with the base, for a comparison with the Monokuma base, here is one of my Monokuma plushies. Bring this back so you can see very nice resemblance and likeness to the uh, to Monokuma. Actually, I think the base is a little bit better than my than the plushie I have chosen right here. So there you go. There's a little comparison with one of my Monokuma plushies. Let me do this so you can get a little bit better look right there. So there you have that. So that is all of the individual pieces of the, of the, of the scene as a whole. Now I won't lie to you, putting this thing together is a stressful experience. Like, this thing is so damn expensive, and these pieces, like, you just want to hold these like it's your damn child, dude. Because, like, if these break, you're gonna be, you're gonna have a bad time, man. You are gonna have a very bad time. So, when you put this together, I'd recommend doing it very, very carefully. Don't do how you saw me doing it in the video. That was not a good idea. I definitely should have. Uh, put it together off camera, bought it back in, but I did kind of want you guys to see me uh, put it together. But um, oh man, it was it was a stressful experience. But yeah, um, you can see everything goes in in a very certain way. So the TV here, when you put the TV in here, it's not gonna go in until you get it in the right way, and then it goes in like that, as you can see right there. So it only goes in one way, which helps you set up the scene as a whole. And if I bring in the actual piece for Chiaki, you can see this goes in to the back of her to her back right there and then you plug this into this earpiece right here and this is the easiest part by far getting chiaki in there herself is definitely the easiest part of this build and same with monami monami is also pretty darn easy you can see monami only goes in one way i do i would recommend being a little bit careful when plugging her in there make sure you apply pressure to uh, apply pressure to the correct spots as to not break her and you can bring monami up there now what i was talking about earlier when i was saying how you could definitely um how you can definitely choose how you want to display this piece is you don't have to put all this stuff on if you like just the simple shot of chiaki and monami falling into despair you can totally just leave it like this um i am maybe thinking about that the thing is here's the thing so the tv while it is really cool that it all kind of connects and it's all like the wires wrapping around and stuff and you have the tv and whatnot the thing that i'm not feeling about the tv is when you plug the tv in it really takes away from chiaki and monami you can see the tv almost completely covers monami it does look cool don't get me wrong it does look very very cool and i do love the way this looks but for me i feel like like because like obviously if you buy this you're buying this because it's chiaki and you love chiaki so you don't want to like take away from chiaki from this moment so me personally i think i will probably be leaving the tv off but it's still a really cool thing to have like a tv with dong and rampa 2 this is definitely not a waste or anything you can just put this on your dong and rampa shelf and that looks awesome that looks fucking awesome so not a big deal at all now i do think i will keep with the console though i do like the way the console looks on here and you can see that what you do with the console here what i would recommend doing is i would recommend plugging in the controllers first so plug in the controllers to monami and to chiaki first so do that get everything nice and tabbed in and then you can see chiaki uh, like monami like trying to like come forward here i didn't have it all the way plugged in right there and then the console itself just plugs into a little peg right there in her leg so you've got so you bring this in you can like bring the wires down so it all works properly and then you can plug this in right there or you can wrap the wires like around her legs and whatnot which i think is what you're actually supposed to do right there like if i bring the wires down like here it is very nice that they are on bendy wires so what you can do is you can like bring them around her leg right there and then you can like wrap it around her leg because it's supposed to look like it's like entangling her as she's falling into despair which i do think is pretty cool so you can see what we got going on here this is pretty cool i think i might actually just leave the statue like this on my shelf i think i'm just gonna leave it like this because i really like the fact that you have chiaki of monami they're playing the game and i really don't think the tv is a necessary thing to have and when and personally, I think when you add the TV to this display, personally, I'm going to, I just think that it kind of looks a little too, it kind of goes 
from a really nice display to maybe just a little too busy, if you see here. And I really don't like the way the TV is actually set, because you can see it looks like it's like barely getting held on there. It is solid, don't get me wrong. But look, like look how much it obstructs the actual look of Chiaki and Monami when you put the TV on here. So personally, I really could, I think I'm definitely going to be leaving the TV off. Now you do obviously lose this bit as well, because this is supposed to plug in right there, and then that plugs into the console. But me personally, like, like you guys can tell me in the comments what you prefer, but like here it is with the TV on, and then if you take the TV off, this is what you have now. And personally, I think this looks better. And I still, once again, to reiterate, I think this is a really cool thing to just have on your Dog and Rampa shelf as a whole. I mean, it's just a TV playing Dog and Rampa 2. That's dope as fuck if you ask me. So this is probably how I am gonna be displaying this uh, this set because I think this just looks so much better than uh, everything. The TV basically covering up literally everything about this. So uh, that is just my personal opinion. But you guys can let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with that opinion or? not but me personally this is probably what i will be doing now for comparison the only thing i can really think of is maybe the final is, is maybe the funko pop right there so that's how it scales with the funko pop you can see it's not a humongous statue it is a pretty uh it is like a pretty uh good size statue right there here i'll <laughs> i'll bring in something else here here's my this is my uh my what, what mega blocks i think mega blocks master chief helmet right there here you go there's another thing right there um what else could i what else could i put i don't man i don't know i just don't know what to uh compare this thing with it'll be easier once i get more dong and rampa figures but uh yeah I, I just don't know what really to compare this thing with but you can see i'm sure you can get a good sense of the scale uh, of the size of this thing from watching this right now i'm sure you could probably get a good sense of the size of this thing and it is well it is a decent size i have no issue with the size of it um it, it like well actually i don't know what i was getting at there i don't know what i was getting at there i think it's a good size i I really like the way it looks. I love the scale of Chiaki. Um, I believe that the scale she's at right now should actually match the scale of the Papa Parade Junko that's coming out. And of course, uh, Good Smile is uh, doing more Papa Parade Danganronpa figures. They have already shown. While Junko is the first one coming out, they have already confirmed that uh, Chiaki, Nagito, and Kyoko will also be receiving Papa Parade figures. So it'd be really cool if they actually made those in scale with this Chiaki. Because I do believe this Chi this Chiaki to me this looks looks like about what the scale of the pop-up parade are gonna be. I could be wrong, please don't, uh, you don't, uh, don't freaking hold me to that, don't mark my words on that, but, um, I do think this does look like it's about, it's gonna be about what to expect from the pop-up parade figure, so that's good. I honestly hope that's the case, I love the idea of them all being in scale, uh, on my Danganronpa shelf, but, uh, there you go, um, I don't think there's really anything else to go over with this. Overall, I think this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Now, whether to buy or not to buy, that that is the question. Now, real quick, I'm gonna put everything together here so you can get so we can get a full so we can get a full look of the product as a whole as I give my final thoughts. And coming to my final thoughts on the Fat Company Dianamba 2 Goodbye Despair Chiaki Nanami. I think this figure is absolutely fucking gorgeous. If you love Chiaki, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful figure. Um, if you are a huge Dog and Rama fan, if you are a huge Chiaki fan, this is definitely something I can recommend. However, of course, whether you buy it or not is up to you. This is a very, very expensive piece. You are looking at a very very expensive piece right here, um, but overall, I mean, I'm very much satisfied with my purchase, definitely. Um, I will say a few things to know. I do think it's a bit of a stressful figure. Um, obviously, the scene we've got going on here of Chiaki and Monami falling into despair, uh, it, 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 it clearly has, like, it's a little bit stressful, you know, plugging in these clear plastic uh, poles right here into the figures. I don't have any issue with the structural integrity. They feel very solid. They feel like they're going to hold, but it is kind of stressful. Like, plugging in, uh, like, pl plugging in Monami's foot into this right here, that was not a fun task at all. Plugging this back part into Chiaki's back that was not a fun task at all getting all of these cords in here not a fun task but once you get it all done i mean i mean i mean at the end of the day is any stat is building any statue a fun task no it's always a stressful task so i don't think that's a really big knock against this figure now one thing i do genuinely think about this figure is i personally think the tv is unnecessary i feel like i do like that they included it because i like the i like it as just a prop i will definitely have this tv just on my dong and rampa shelf because i think it's cool as shit to have a tv that's just playing 
Dongan Rampa 2 on it. I think that's an awesome thing. But I do not like the way it incorporates into this scene. Now, obviously, it looks cool as fuck. Like, you have, like, this whole scene of Chiaki and Monami with the TV and the game console all falling down. And the reason this is so great, of course, is because of the significance of Chiaki falling into despair. So, okay, quick spoiler warning for anybody who has into who's who's watching this video and is not a Dongan Rampa fan and does not know about Chiaki Nanami here. Chiaki Nanami is a character that is infamous for being the character that always dies. She dies, uh, she, both times she shows up in the franchise, she actually dies horribly. And the reason for that is because Chiaki Nanami here is actually the martyr of hope for the 77th class. So the 77th class is actually the remnants of despair in the lore. The remnants of despair are the minions of Junko and Oshima, who is the ultimate despair. And Chiaki here is the, uh, and basically what happened is Junko executed Chiaki in, uh, it is, Junko executed Chiaki and showed the execution to the remnants, uh, to show, and showed that to the 77th class, which made them all fall into despair and all turned them into the remnants of despair. So basically, the entire 77th class besides Chiaki and Nami all fell into despair and became Junko's minions. That's the big story with this character. And that's why she is so beloved by, by, uh, that's why she is so beloved by everybody. That is why she is such a popular and, uh, and beloved character. And I really love what they've done with the figure, how you kind of have this whole scene of her falling into despair because it makes perfect sense for this character and what this character represents in the franchise. But... I, I do, no, no but, no but. For what they've done here, they've done a beautiful fucking job. An absolutely beautiful job. This is a gorgeous Chiaki figure. This is a very well done Monami figure. The TV is very well done. All the paint, all the detail, the base, everything about this figure is fantastic. Overall, I would say the, the general consensus on this figure is I think it's great. I think it is really great. Now, once again, of course, whether you buy it or not, that is going to be on you. It is a very, very expensive piece. So, so whether you buy it or not is going to be on you. But personally, if you love Chiaki, if you love Danganronpa, I can put, I can definitely put my recommendation behind it. The only things I would just tell you is when you're assembling it, do be careful. Take your time. Take very much. Take your time. And yeah, I think this is a very, very nice figure. I mean, as a huge, colossal Danganronpa fan, this is my favorite franchise of all time. I am so stoked to have this figure. I cannot believe I have this. One of my favorite characters of the entire franchise. I absolutely love Chiaki. Chiaki is my fucking waifu. I love her so much, and I am so unbelievably stoked to have this figure of her, and I cannot wait to get more Danganronpa figures to put on her on my Danganronpa shelf right next to her. So, we're gonna go ahead and hit this figure with the final grade of an S tier. I absolutely think this figure is worth having if you're a Danganronpa uh, fan, so definitely an S tier, no questions asked. My only things are just be careful when you're putting it together. It is a stressful experience, but once you get it done, you're done. And, uh, you know, whether it's, it'll be up to you whether, how you want to display this. If you want to keep the TV and all the cords and whatnot, that'll be up to you. But of course, you do have the option of just taking all that stuff off and it just being Chiaki and Monami that is completely on you. And me personally, I do, I am pretty confident that I am going to be taking the TV down because I do not like how it kind of obstructs that. That's just a personal thing, though. I'm sure a ton of people love the way this looks with the TV falling as well. But me personally, I damn going to probably, uh, take the TV out of this. But, there you have it. That is my final thoughts on this figure. I am so unbelievably stoked to finally have a dog and rumpa figure in my, in my possession. This is something I have wanted for so long. I cannot wait to get more. I love this franchise to hell and back. I love it so much. And to finally have my, my favorite thing to collect is figures. And to finally have my favorite franchise, things that, my favorite things to collect of my favorite franchise. This is definitely a dream come true. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Every single thing you think of this Chiaki Nanami figure by Fat Company. Um, okay, I will actually say this. One more thing I want to say. One serious negative I have with this. I do not like the fact that this company is called Fat because that means every single time I address this figure, I have to call it like the Fat Chiaki Nanami or something like that. And that just, I don't like that. So that's one thing I'm going to, that's a really stupid complaint. Obviously, you should not take that to heart, but I did want to say that real quick. So there you have it. This is now I will actually uh, be signing out here. This has been my review of the Fat Company Chiaki Nanami. And yes, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is DK Guillotine signing out.